Now we're given this iterative formula x subscript 10 plus 1 equals minus a half e to the power x with a subscript 10 and we're given the initial iteration x0 equals uh, minus 0.3 and uh, we've got to find out the next two values x1 x2 then so uh, in this iterative uh, formula just before we start what I've done though is just try to outline what this is all about and uh, at the end of this video I'll show you how they got this iterative formula but basically they're saying then that this is the iterative formula which gives us the value x equals k where the graph y equals x plus 2 intersects the graph y equals the inverse function f to the minus 1 of x which was 2 minus a half e to the power x. So by applying this iterative formula several times over we should get an approximation to the point where they intersect this x value, the x coordinate of where they intersect. As I say I'll show you why we get this iterative formula then um, at this point here at the end of this video but uh, nonetheless we've got to work out what x1 is and what x2 is now I'm going to take uh, a little time over this just uh, in case you're a little unsure how we do this now to get the first approximation what is often called x1 we need to set n equal to 0 because we would have x with the subscript 0 plus 1 and that will give us x1 and that is equal to minus a half e to the power x with the subscript n which is now 0 x0 zero. but we know what x0 is it is minus 0 0.3 so this is going to be equal to minus a half e to the power minus 0 0.3 and if you work that out on your calculator, okay, you should find you get minus 0 0.37049 and so on. And we've got to give this to four decimal places, so your first answer should be minus 0 0.3704. And we'll just put that in as four decimal places, 4dp. Now to get x2 all we need to do is really much the same all we need to do is say when n equals 1 step it up by one unit okay and when n equals 1 we have x 1 add 1 x subscript 2 equals minus a half of e to the power x with the n and n is 1 so that's x 1 don't put this rounded version in, put this unrounded version in for x1. And if you do that, you should find that what you get out, okay, if you do it on your calculator, is minus 0 0.34522 and so on, which when rounded to four decimal places is going to be minus 0 0.3452. So just put that to four decimal places, 4dp. So there's our two answers for this question. But I did say, I'll just show you how they got this iterative formula. Because there are questions out there where you have to uh, show how they get an iterative formula. So for this example, what we're doing basically is that at this point of intersection, we know that the y values would be exactly the same. That would be that x plus 2 would equal the inverse function f to minus 1 of x. In other words, it would equal 2 minus a half e to the power x. So it would have x plus 2 equals 2 minus a half e to the power x. Now if you take 2 from both sides, then this 2 is going to disappear. You're going to be left with x equals minus a half e to the power x. And to turn this to an iterative formula, all we do is just write those subscripts in. We call this one x subscript 10 plus 1 and then on this side any x is over here and we've only got one in this example we would always write x with a little n 
okay and that's how they got this particular one and they got this starting value x0 as being minus 0.3 by taking a value close to this value k a negative value all right